All right, Calculorians, today we're going to practice graphing. So given the function f of x, I'm going to practice graphing what the instantaneous rate of change looks like of the graph of f of x at every single point x. So my favorite thing to do is to start with the points where the rate of change is zero. So just looking at the slopes of the tangent lines at all these humps and bumps, the slopes of these tangent lines of these horizontal tangent lines is going to be zero. So it looks like I've got about three zeros. Now I'm going to work left to right and it looks like when I draw a tangent line there that's a very negative number so I'm going to show that by just making a bunch of these tangent lines are all negative. But it looks like they're getting less and less negative, right? Like negative 30 here negative 19, negative 8. So they're getting closer and closer to that zero that I've got here. So these decreasing function f of x is creating negative rates of change versus as I come past the zero, I have these tangent lines here and all of these tangents look like positive values, though these positive values go from being like maybe 1 to 5 to 7, then back down to 5 to 1 and back to 0. So I can see my graph, it's negative, the graph of the derivative is negative. From this 0 to this 0, I've got increasing functions, so I'm going to have positive slopes. Again here, coming down, all these tangents are going to be negative, back to the 0, but then it looks like all of these tangent lines are all, these are all positive. Negative tangents, positive tangents, negative tangents, positive tangents. Negative slopes, negative tangents, negative slopes, positive, negative, positive. Boom. All right, so there's my f prime of x. Example two, ah, I've got just a linear function f of x. Now let's talk about the linear function. It's a degree of one. It looks like every tangent line here is going to be the same slope. And that slope will be whatever the slope of f of x is. So to make the graph of the derivative of f of x, it will just be whatever number this slope is. And that's going to be just a constant rate of change. So it's just going to be a constant slope, which means my f prime of x, I'm going to just guesstimate, is some positive value there. Finally, something we really haven't seen yet before, a square root radical graph. So... Looking at this graph, it looks like it is increasing the whole entire time. It's going to increase without bound. If it's going to increase without bound, increasing f of x means f prime of x is always going to be positive. So if f of x is always increasing, f prime of x will always be positive. And let's double check that. Look at all of these tangents. They are all positive. All positive. All these slopes are positive. If I investigate this a little bit further, this is a pretty, pretty steep positive. And what's happening to these positive slopes? Are they getting more steep? Or are they getting closer and closer to zero? Well, it looks like I'm super steep, almost a vertical. Ooh. Pretty vertical, pretty high, a pretty high slope. So I'm going to throw something way up there. The next slopes are getting smaller. Smaller, 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 smaller. The rest of these slopes are getting closer and closer to zero. Ah. So given some sort of radical function that's always increasing, my derivative is always positive.
but getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So thank you, you've been way too kind today, Calculorians. You're doing a great job of graphing. Keep practicing. Let me know what kind of questions you have. Keep it real, take care of yourselves. Boom.